Lord of Ring Golem. Lord, Lord of, of Ring. Ring. Oh. No, no, no. The, the Lord of Ring. Yeah, so the Lord Lord of Ring. Ring. I get it right, yeah. I've always preferred Lord, Lord of Ring, Ring, though. It's funnier. <laughs> Lord of Ring is hilarious. <laughs> the Lord I, of Ring. I, I don't know. I feel like the the in front of it makes it funnier because it's the Lord of Ring. 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 Like Lord it's, of Ring. Like, it's not just Lord of Ring. It's got to be the Lord of Ring. A great game. Uh, with an apology that they semi recently Mist? said that they didn't even know was released. So, yes, it was oh. definitely AI, and the developers didn't even know about it. They didn't even know that they released an apology? I think that was it, yeah. That was it, seems, it seems to be on brand for them, really, considering <laughs> the quality of the game. It's so funny. I feel like every other sure. month we find out some new piece of imbecilic <laughs> knowledge about this fucking game. And I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure they're. It. I'm not sure they're entirely aware that they actually made a game. Yeah, either. no, probably like, not. I thought this was just a joke. <laughs> Why did you release it? What the fuck? It's funny how I'm seeing all this. I haven't seen these since having seen Rings of Power, so it's on the brain. I, I, yeah, I, I haven't seen this either. Loot it for you. Not at all. It's more so just like look at the source that they almost just tried to destroy. It's no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. If this is the Harfits, we'd be like, yeah, we put up a sign without killing ourselves. Yes. Oh my god, yeah. Well, uh, if Bilbo no, had hit like a hundred years, it'd be time to eat him. Yeah, probably. Yep. You compare that to Rings of Power, and my god. Well, none of the actors in Rings of Power looked like elves, and it wasn't even Elf. really just like, I wouldn't even say it's just the look, it's the way they like held themselves, too. They don't seem okay. elvish, yeah, in the way that they are here. A lot of the actors and the people that they choose for the elves, they just don't look like elves, they just look like some guy. Gil-Galad just like, he just looks like a guy. He looks like he works at the Jiffy Loop. I was the mercy of three monstrous trolls. There's a huge... Even the obvious. Hobbit did this well. Galadriel's just some bitch. Gilgalad is some guy. Hellborn is just some... They're all just people, and they shouldn't right. be. And yet they're unified, right? All the people from that area. There's something that connects them all. It doesn't feel like a hodgepodge of random in, shit. Uh, Rings of Power. Everyone is like everywhere, no matter where you go. Everyone is. They sound yeah. kind of the same. Well, They're all. It was like a patchwork everywhere you go. There's everywhere no just looks like everywhere looks like downtown LA. Even though they shot the first season down in New Zealand, it's like they didn't employ the landscape well. Whatever you're looking at has that weird TV fantasy look to it. You know, there's something. Um, it's I I've noticed. It's just like it seems to be an Amazon specific issue. I mean, other places have this issue, but like, if you've seen other Amazon shows, they literally all look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Time looks exactly the same as Rings of Power. The Boys looks pretty much the same, even though it's not even a fucking fantasy show. Well, yeah, there, um, was, a, remember... there was a tweet about this, wasn't there, where it's like, they had um, The Witcher, they had Rings of Power, they had Wheel of Time, and it was like just shots of everyone, and they all looked fucking identical. Well, uh, what I found weird, I don't know if you ever saw it, remember the title reveal for Rings of power and oh, everyone yeah. everyone yeah. thought it was cgi it turns out that was completely yeah. practical but there's just something that they fucked up that makes it look more fake than it actually My is assumption they throw yeah. cg goo on everything it's like a weird yeah. filter where they think know. it looks better i thought up an ending for my book and he lived happily ever after that was such a bad way to start to it represented that perfect because that sign ended up in jeff bezos's office so he's like hey i'm gonna make this red <laughs> sign let's just make it a promo because this is my giant vanity project goodbye gandalf goodbye dear Bubba. you ever see that clip where jeff bezos was talking about how his son was a lord of the rings fan and told him not to fuck it up my son came up to me one day and he said, Dad, please don't F this up. I hope his son disowned him. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like this era was like, oh yes, make it with love. But this 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 era where it currently was like, why don't we try hate? No, this this era is like, I'm given this thing to make and I'm actually I just want to make a completely different story that's mine and I'm just gonna I don't understand. Keep it secret. And I'm just gonna well, port that into it. That's there too, and like apathy, but also there's that level. Some of the creators are like, you know, this IP I've been entrusted with, 
there's so much wrong with it that I can fix. It's like, yeah, whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. Look, at, look at oh, the man. fucking Witcher people, like, openly mocking the books. You know, Tolkien didn't know what he was fucking talking about. Let me fix it. <laughs> Tolkien was problematic, so let's make something antithetical to everything that guy was about. It's precious to me, though I buy it with a great pain. Aquaman. Mortar was created in a day. The old man Waldreg stuck oh his God. sword and turned to lock I, and he I made will... Mordor. You know that as the years went on, Sauron killed everyone who knew that. He was like, no yep. one will know that this was started by some hobo. <laughs> And the more you find out about the ring wraiths, the more terrifying they are. One of my favorite things about fantasy in general are the monsters that you can get out of them. And the yeah. Nazgul are like just Harfets. like my favorite. We still don't really know who the ring race. They were just kings of men. Not all of them were kings of men. Some of them might have been sorcerers too. But um, there is letters and stuff that one, there might be some former Numenorians in there. Yeah. Uh, and, again, and so uh, 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 yeah, and that's death. enough to know that they were great, yep. powerful leaders, sorcerers, the witch king of Angmar, like great stuff. You just know that when Rings of Power t deals with this, they're going to be like a bunch of... <laughs> what you're heading towards, Drinker, I imagine, is like yeah, they'll be blacker. very selfish, very greedy leaders or something. And be like, yeah, see, and they, they fell because be, they were flawed. They'll be small as well. They'll just seem small people. Yeah. And they want everything power. in that show seems small. It, well, that's, it, the, that's the thing. This is the nuance of Lord of the Rings. A lot of people consider it a very simple story, but like I feel like a lot of this is telling us like very good people can have flaws that can lead to very dark paths if they're not, you know, stalwart sort of thing. But there's always a way back, that sort of stuff. Maybe they'll do the same thing that Shadow of War did and make a sealed or one of the Nazgul. That was cool. That was totally not infuriating. <laughs> I don't know. His character in Rings of Power was very confusing and contradictory. I completely forgot oh, a Sealdor right. was even in it. it Jesus. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah everyone, everyone did. Oh, man. We're going to see them uncover the Balrog in Rings of Power Season 2. That's right. We got a teaser. They got the Balrog there at the bottom. <laughs> I would still give an arm and a leg to watch Tolkien play Lord of Ring Gollum. <laughs> He's so <laughs> fucking funny. I have no memory of this place. I just fucking remembered that Rings of Power has Mithril tied to the life force of elves for some oh, fucking yeah. reason. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't remind us of that. That was the, that's the kind of shit. When they were saying there was a fight between the soldier and a balrog in a tree or whatever, I remember being like, is this some lore shit? And when you guys like, no, <laughs> this is some, this is new. <laughs> like, no, they made this shit up. You shouldn't have to make up too much stuff if mm. you're adapting Lord of the Rings world. Mithril. Full of surprises, Master Baggins. You know, I think the only thing that would have made that scene better is if someone stabbed the troll in the head and then splashed the blood on the camera. That I felt like already summed up in Rings of Power what you're in for, watching her kill that ice troll yeah. or whatever. It was just like, oh god. Uh. Oh, oh shit. And that's the thing. What makes an army of thousands of like horrible dark creatures run away? Galadriel. <laughs> <laughs> what is this new devilry? Well, and, that, and that, that's kind of what I was going to say earlier was that I think the people who made that scene with her doing that to the troll, they would genuinely be confused. They'd be like, isn't she badass? Why do you guys think what's wrong with it? And it's just like the fact that you can't figure it out sucks. Yeah. Carry a heavy burden, Frodo. Don't carry the weight of the dead. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like with this trilogy especially, there's so much... The biggest moments of it are stuff that you guys, I assume, like me, would never forget. The heart of Elvendom on Earth. But like Rings of Power is actually difficult, along with a lot of other stuff that comes out uh, in, in yeah, our like, modern name age. Yeah, like name your name the three most iconic scenes from Rings of Power season one. I think and that's like, all. Oh, like, well, you you just meant for Gandalf, but they don't mention his fireworks. Should be a verse about them. I only remember the memes. No, like, yeah, only the memes. Like, like give me, give, rings, give it to me now. Give it to me raw. Give, it, give me the meat and give it to me raw. Like, <laughs> give it to me raw. Like that in 2023. The finest rockets ever seen. They burst in stars of blue and green, falling like a rain of flowers. Oh, that doesn't do them justice. It's got Galadriel and Sauron just standing on a raft, screaming at each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh my that's god! What yeah. Oh, that's Fucking I cinema right there, boys. Heard a voice inside my head. 
spoke of my father and the fall of Gondor. So I had a friend who didn't watch the show past like the first couple episodes and I showed him that scene and he like fell on the floor laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the time of the elves is over. Do we leave Middle Earth to its fate? Did I mention I killed an ice troll in under 10 seconds? <laughs> <Do> we... <laughs> Why did you have to bring that up? <laughs> Couldn't help it. I just keep thinking about that scene where she gives them the gifts and it's yeah, all yeah. to do with the ice. So good. You picture she rings up Elrond semi regularly and they open the conversation and be like, Man, you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Feel nice troll, yeah. but you know, what have you done? Just uh, sat in Rivendell, huh? And for you, Samwise Gamgee, Elven Rope. The meme is basically when Galadriel's talking about all the gifts she's given them. She says they're all from the ice troll over and over yes. again. <laughs> Carved from the they're horde of the, the ice troll the that I defeated. Like one small bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. How many did you eat? Four. Now, do you know why these boats float? Ooh, they tell us. Oh, Rings of Power they're... taught me all about this. Because stones can't look up, but boats yeah. can look down. Boats are floaty because they look up at shiny stuff. Do you think... To rise above the height of all your fathers since the days of Elendil. So, so imagine if Aragorn gives that knife to Rosie and she kills Sauron at the end. That would be Ooh, better. Yeah, yeah. That would be better. Blade of the she's Assassin. she's pregnant, yeah. Yeah, and she rides in on like a dragon that she made friends yep. with at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. she, none of the boys could beat the dragon, but she convinces the dragon that he should do stuff. Or to fall into darkness with all that is left of your kin. I think it would be important that... too if you could have Aragorn slip on a banana peel during the scene somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I know that Rosie is his wife, but for some reason my mind like converted it to Sam's daughter. And I was like, "Boy, three-year-old is going to." Go. That, 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 oh that my god! Even better, is Arya having the knife. Oh, <laughs> killing! That was such a game. depressing night when I saw that episode. I watched it with Wolf. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> I had a whole like 16 hours to think about that episode before we watched it and just have it like sour more and more. The death of Game of Thrones. I think my I favorite like reaction of yours was like when, when Quyburn gets killed by <laughs> the mountain. Obey your queen, Sir Gregor. What? 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 <laughs> he just lost like, shit. crushes his head you just lost your mind <laughs> it was so funny the comedic timing was perfect that's it man that's it for what the fuck <laughs> that shot where his his face just slapped against the rock <laughs> what the hell <laughs> I love how that's just the end of his character. Too. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh. I, re I remember the cope at the time was, have you guys, do you not know Frankenstein's story? Frankenstein kills Dr. Frankenstein. And I was like, wait, what? No, but that's not even, what? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil. That was one of the things we talked about with uh, a lot of modern stuff, is that how do you parody it? What do you do with it? Make Already... something good. I mean, yeah, I think kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit different from Game of Thrones, where there's been like a lot of those actors seemingly haven't managed to uh, transition into well, bigger yeah. and better things afterwards. It's like they've all had their opportunity, you know, just like one or two feature films, and pretty much they've all failed. Alas, that these evil days should be mine. Remember when Kit Harington said he didn't want to play any hyper-masculine roles like Jon Snow anymore? Until he couldn't get any more roles, and now he wants to do. Oh, is Jon that what Snow we're show? calling Jon Snow in the last few seasons? Hypermasculine. She's uh, McQueen. Yeah. She's <laughs> <I mean, I, laughs> McQueen. I don't want it. It's true, you don't see many dwarf women. They're often mistaken for dwarf men. I'm not gonna mention Rings of Power. Not gonna mention no, it. No. Not gonna mention it. What is it? <laughs> what is it, horsey? Well, he's about to get a rough death. That guy. <laughs> We just need to agree that the Hobbit wargs were the worst. Oh, I way prefer the look at these guys. These ones look good. I actually really like the Ring of Power one, but the, the Hobbit one was... Wait, you like the Ring of Power one? The warg? Yeah. I think it looks fucking great. It looks like a fucking chihuahua. <laughs> I like it. 
looks very kind of like natural and um, bestial. I like it. I couldn't disagree more. I, I take the Hobbit ones over the fucking Rings no, of Power. No, Hobbit ones suck. No, I've never said Hobbit, that they don't Hobbit suck. Better. Did, it, it's it's so much better than the one from Rings of Power. We're not supposed to talk about the Rings of Power. I'm the Hobbit. It sucks. No Everything way. about it sucks. Absolutely. No. You gotta admit that Gary, the credits are pretty good. Uh, the font when they changed. No, just the feeling. Oh. I mean, yeah, when I finished reviewing it, when nobody watches season two and it gets canceled by season three, I'll feel much better. <laughs> I, I'm so curious. What I'm so ready for that do. to happen. I'm so ready for the next if, Rings of Power if, failure. If they're going to stick with five seasons over the next decade, uh, I just don't see that. Happening. I don't even know if the that fifth, we'll never know. The thing is, we'll never know the viewing figures. I'm not even they can, sure. They can make up whatever they want. By the time they hit season five, I wonder if any of us will even be watching it. Like, just out of curiosity or not. It be like, eh. It's I'm become like be, a soap what? opera. If they're going to do a season every two years, yeah, I'm going to be in my 60s when that thing <laughs> ends. Get the women and children into the cave. Need more time to lay provisions for a season. There is no time. Wow, protecting the women and children. Wow, sorry. women. Don't you oh, mean. What? Hey, hey. I no, saw the women have to go to the front line. Children. <laughs> Are any of you women familiar with ice trolls? People, have you defeated any? There's people out there today that will probably have a fucking problem with that line. Like, uh, women don't need protecting. Yeah, Look at Theoden's armor. That oh, looks great. That's fucking you awesome. Know, and the elven armor looks different, you know? Yeah. Compare that to the, the billion dollar rings of power. Oh, it looks so shit. It looks plastic. like a carved wooden weird thing. With like and in flap, the Hobbit flabby, movies, all the fucking elves no, no. were like CGI clones of each other. And this is like, you can tell they're real. There's multiple battles that take place around Lothlorien and stuff, but like it's not actually shown. I kind of get why they wanted to actually Galadriel show them was in handling action things. here. Yeah, Galadriel she was just, yeah, she was just cleaning up. Her. You know, she didn't want to. I hate to bring it up, but they just. They kept building up that third episode of season eight of Game of Thrones as Helm's Deep. And it's like, what are you thinking? What were you doing? Well, I guess they were thinking we're going to kick its ass. They really did. I remember <laughs> they, them celebrating. It's longer really than Helm's that. Deep. It's longer. Oh, like, it's longer. That means something. Why did the guys charge? Why did they do that? Why did they charge? Why the did they learn guys? nothing from everything else that was good? <laughs> like this, what I don't get about some like storytelling and filmmaking. There's so many people who've showed you how to do it. What exactly is it that motivates you to create if not seeing great things and trying to create your own great people things and replicate can't. that greatness? JD so? Payne and Patrick McKay worked for, for Bad Reboot for like ten years and never got a script. They got one script credit. They got a partial credit on one script but they had touched up a bunch of scripts and done and written a bunch that have all been rejected and they decided to give those two clowns the most expensive tv show of all time speaking of which isn't it unbelievable that the guy who wrote tross is writing a legend of zelda movie how the, how? how did it happen how how Why everyone hates that happen? movie now the miss marvel's writers getting jobs left and right they love her. Release the river. Release the river. It's a nice oh, combination. So miniature. That yes. looks, oh, you know, models. no. That's good. Oh, models. Doesn't look as good as Rings of Power when they jump started Mordor. Yeah, this is how they started Mordor. This is what old man Waldrick sticks his sword in the key and he turns it to make some Mordor. As you can I see, can't believe that happened. A lot of, lot of Rings of Power trauma has been let loose in this recording. <laughs> <laughs> we have to wash it away with the River. Yeah, it's wait till the heirs of the Tolkien estate, you know, one more generation down, sell the rights and they remake it. This will be the, it'll be the first. Well, trilogy consider to, to give some optimism to that, right? Look at Rings of Power. Nobody uh, fucking sure. even considers that to be like Lord of the Rings. How far did we no. go? Seven, the... seven minutes and 40 seconds before Rings of Power got brought up. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> well, no, no, but in a good way, right? Rings of Power kind of showed is... that if you do a bad job and if you do all the wrong things, people just laugh at you and you're going to fade into obscurity and yeah. you're not even considered I actually to feel close like, to this. Uh, had it been oh. released even as is like 15, 10, 15 years ago, it wouldn't have gotten near as much of a response because no, of the I... fact that we've experienced oh, no. this with so many other things things it was like i think, nah. um, I think really that what's happened is that over the last like 10 years maybe really accelerated over the last five years is just because you have the license doesn't really give you anything anymore if Sam anything it makes people skeptical hungry. yeah yeah, the, yeah we, we yeah. transitioned from being excited to see new things for an ip to actually dreading it for no matter the yeah. ip now when they were first talking about like getting the remasters and i think me and gary were talking about like please just don't fucking touch anything <laughs> yeah. and now it's like don't fucking go near it don't, don't even don't even look at it, it. 
it. Don't even touch it. Oh. Don't even speak its name. Yeah, because you're waiting for the one to say, there is that one scene we're going to take out because it's... Uh, and also we added... Uh, like, yeah, me. there's we didn't have enough female characters, so we made one up and we CGI'd them in with Frodo and Sam here. And, and you know, <laughs> It's almost like a George okay. Lucas level, but without it not being goopy aliens, it's just <laughs> women. <laughs> like There's just loads I, of women. I, I dreamed I saw a great wave climbing over green lands and above the hills. Ooh, just like Rings of Power. Yeah, now you mentioned right. it. I don't know what, because I was thinking about, you mentioned before, right, like sort of the look of especially recent fantasy, like really bad fantasy shows and that Rings sort of, of power, lack man. of power, man. Infamously identity. bad. Infamously so, bad armor. It looks so shit. It was a joke. I like how Game of Thrones did this, oh. seriously, when this oh. movie was like, because this is a terrible idea and we're all going to die. And they didn't learn their lesson, even though it was right there. <laughs> there oh, it was right there, there, man! It is fascinating to think about how quickly Game of Thrones as a series got killed. Bit of a lesson, a cautionary if tale. If only he had those 11 herbs and spices that Sam <laughs> brought with him for that roast chicken. What, Gondor fried chicken? Oh, jeez, can you imagine? GFC. GFC, yeah. Oh, GFC, so, I love me some GFC. Not to be confused with the global financial crisis. And who can wield the power of this sword can summon to him an army more deadly than any that walks this earth. The darkness coming over the world is draining Arwen. That's what we're yeah. supposed to assume. And then they rip that in a really retarded way for Rings of Power to say that their life force is being drained and they need Mithril to fuck. That's fine. <laughs> we don't have to. I do like Gothmog just being like, uh, look at them <laughs> sending this yeah. bullshit. If this was Game of Thrones, the orcs yeah, would have let off with a cavalry charge against the walls. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's a really cool looking battering ram, right? It looks very, it's very evil looking. It has a lot of it's character. Very, Remember when they put it in the Gollum game? Oh my god. A fucking game, man. What? <laughs> What's the ugly runt of the Lord of the Rings IP? Does this creature... <laughs> but is it the ugly runt or is it Rings of Power? I feel like Gollum... The... Rings of Power I wouldn't describe as an ugly runt. I would describe it as a horrible monstrosity. It's an ugly oh. cunt. Oof. This is where Galadriel comes and said, Oh, I could take that Shelob thing in one swing of a sword, pussy. You know, I killed a nice troll. I, I, killed an ice I killed an ice troll by myself. Under ten seconds. I feel I insulted so to call her, <laughs> call her Galadriel at all. This is the real Galadriel. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. No, this no, she, the... she's not screaming autistically into the camera. She's not this a warrior not. with the sword. Yeah, I don't see any tempest in her. She's not making that facial expression that seems like she just smelled something extremely foul. Man, if only Bronwyn was here to kill all these orcs single-handedly. You remembered her name. Yeah. Who? Yeah, see? Bronwyn. <laughs> Bronwyn, yeah. The Rings of Power Lady. Which There's one? way more she, than she one was, Rings was, of Power Lady, Rex. <laughs> she's the Orc Slayer. No, she was the, the village medic. Yeah, the she Orc Slayer. She was the village she she oh, was was she... girlfriend. Oh, was she the black milk chick? The black milk chick? Wait, no, no. <laughs> she's yeah, right. white. No, she no, had no, the dispensary. She had no, the middle. No, no. I, the, was she the chick who like milked the cow and the cow's milk was black? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she was yeah, the yeah. one that Treadwell. We should, we should not be talking about this on this scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good God. I almost want to rewind. You can't, though. <laughs> I can't believe some fucking old guy twisted a fucking sword at a no. stone and created no. that. That's what right. that did not happen. He stuck no, the sword no, in the thing and he turned in it. Ultimate, even to say it's in an ultimate guy. world, it's pretty much of an attachment. But yes, in some some bizarro world, yeah, the an old man created awful. that. Yeah, the bad timeline version of Lord of the Rings. What the some hell old were dude. they thinking? I think it is absurdly gay that they took such a cool looking sword and they just made it a key to make a the volcano. The sword was pretty cool. Especially, the, that's something I liked. We had to, like, the blood would make it grow. Oh, yeah, like, it no, was so evil. Yeah, that's it's like, that's evil. evil. That, that's, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, it's turn a key that, and make Mordor. That, <laughs> like, what? That shit's, that shit's metal as fuck. And then they're like, it let's is. make it the dumbest thing ever. Especially because it leaves the scars behind, and that's what Waldrig showed Theo. It was like, see, don't you like Sauron? Isn't this fucking metal and awesome? Let us together rebuild this world that we may share in the days of peace. And George R. R. Martin asked what happens next and made his own story called Game of Thrones. Well, A Song of Ice and Fire. Mm -hmm. And it is yet to be finished. finished. <laughs> and it will never be finished. The latest update on that was so fucking depressing. Is that the one that I sent you or is it another one? Just the one where he basically said I haven't done anything. He lost, <laughs> he lost 100 pages. 
this year lost a hundred pages. Hey, what do you mean he lost a hundred pages? How do you just he lose a hundred pages? There was, a, there was a terrible fire and he dropped them. It's not like there was a writer's strike and he only could just work on his book and not his eight TV shows and could have probably finished. It's he... not like there was a pandemic where he couldn't do anything anyway and could have easily yeah, finished it. it then. Right? You start to remember, like, it's not like it's been 10 billion years. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's not as though, like, the Expanse books were all finished before uh, Winds of Winter and between uh, Dance of Dragons. They were even apologetic about the last book because it took a whole extra year. <laughs> and meanwhile, George is like, fuck you for being mad that it took me 13 years to write this fucking book you want. 4,000. I think we're up to 4,420 days, something like that. I can't wait for George's legacy to be the guy who didn't finish the books. It's already it's there. A, it's all about to say, like, yeah, I don't even know anything about him except that. That's all I know. Well, Tolkien's there, bitch. There's, there's, can't well, the Tolkien's bitch. Well, that's the thing. There's still a lot of stuck offs out there that are like, he doesn't owe you anything. And it's like, shut the fuck up. That's it's one of those like yeah technically true kind of defenses but sort of proves the point in making well, I mean, it it gets yep. weird when you like that many years of not finishing your own story you're kind of signing an unspoken contract when you start to make a series i wouldn't have wasted my fucking time and money if i knew you weren't gonna finish them. yeah but rings of power scott no well well you know stop it <laughs>